Hello everybody, welcome. Today I'll show you how to implement email uh, sending into your Express node application. It doesn't necessarily need to be into Express, but I'm just going to use Express as an easy way to implement it. Um, the base setup I have here is just a simple Express app that has a single get route. And uh, yeah, let's go. So uh, first of all, we'll be using the Ethereal SMTP uh, service that allows you to just sort of test sending emails using Node or any other thing. P like if you want to do other technology, you can use the same testing website. We'll be using the Node Mailer um, package to send emails because it makes it really easy and convenient to do. So first of all, we need to install Node Mailer. Afterwards, we are going to import Node Mailer into our Express application. And then we will be creating a route. So I will create a single post route. Uh, we'll make the route async because we need to send some um, some async requests. And then in it, I'll just respond send email sent like that. So if we scroll down here, we can see how this all works. Um, basically, the, you, you can obviously read more about it here if you like, but the basic idea of node mail is you define a transporter which allows you to, which which holds the connection to the SMTP service or the port, the host, uh, if it's secure or not, and then the off for the email that is sending all the emails. And then afterwards, you just call the send email, send mail, uh, sorry, function. Uh, on the transporter, which then takes in an object that contains from two subjects, text, HTML, attachments, etc, etc. And then that sends the email. If an error pops up, you can obviously uh, put that in a try accept block. If it doesn't, it just sends the email. And when you are using uh, ethereal, 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 ethereal uh, email, uh, you can use these two to console log that the message is sent and the ID and stuff of the message. And you can also preview the message, like the message preview link can be console log as well down here. So I'll be copying most of this just because it's it's just easy to set up with this. And then you, all, all you need to do is just change some stuff. So let's paste that in. Then let's do tab. Nice. Okay, now it looks clean. Okay, so... This is the transporter. We define this and we can reuse it anywhere. Uh, this is already good. This is already good. Now, what we want to change is these two lines. So we don't have test account user and email. For that, we'll just create a Ethereal account and then we can just copy this bit into a string and then we can copy the password as well down here. Obviously, in a real app, you'll put the, this info in a .env file. Now, there's an example of how to use it with NodeMailer, how to use it with PHP, how to use it with Swift, etc, etc. And how to use POP3 or IMAP if you want to, but we're not going to do that. Now, since this is a post route, I'll be sending some JSON to it. And in the JSON body, I'll send the email like that we will send the, the mail to. So uh, we can separate this out a little bit, like this send mail function. We can pull this bit out and then say const message equals this. And then here you can define, so from uh, the express app, the express app, the express app at email at that example.com to so you can put multiple emails in here. I'll just put one, which is going to be the one from our um, request body. And then the subject is going to be what's up. And then the text is going to be a uh, long time no see. And then we won't be sending any HTML. And that's really it. So we can pass this to the send mail uh, function. So what's going to happen here is the route will receive an email. It will define the transporter. It will define a message. It will pass the message to the sent mail function or method in this case, which will send the email and afterwards from the info, well, I can make this a const actually because it's not being redefined. We can from it because we are using uh, ethereal email, we can get the message ID as well as like get uh, we can get the message uh, URL preview and stuff like that. Um, then we can go to messages right here and we get this like default one. This is you can use this to test. This is never sent blah, blah, blah. 
that's fine. And if you want to know more about node mail and stuff, you can go into usage, into message configuration, and then you can see how to send attachments. It's really simple. You just uh, path, uh, pass in the path. You make a attachments. So you would add attachments here, like text. That will be an array. And then it, you would just give an object, which would have a path and a file name. And that's, that's really it. And then you can pass a lot of stuff in here. There's examples for everything. Anyway, let's now start our application open uh, postman and go to buddy we're making a post uh, request to 3000 slash and we want to make uh, a json yep so we want to send in the email Oof, that's not the email that's the email and the email is going to be uh, big test at test email doc test i don't know it doesn't really matter so we send that we get back email sent in here we get the message sent this is the message id and then we get the preview url if we click open it opens this and it says oh uh, the subject is up from the express app to big test uh, today this long time no see and you can go into messages and see the other messages if you really want to and it looks cool and it's nice and it's it's cool um and that's really it i'll you have links to this and this as well to ethereal email and node mailer in the description and besides those i will also make a simple example just like uh i'll write in some comments on how to use this with gmail because i assume most people are using gmail because it's the most popular thing the main difference is this port is different and then the way you do the off and the way you configure the transporter is different everything else is the same i uh, hope you learned something new thank you for watching goodbye